Taylor. Um, I'm Justine Lupin. I play Maddie, who is um, Trent's daughter at the law firm and also one of uh, Christella's co-workers. And um, yeah, I, I, she, Maddie's kind of surprising because she comes off as like a little bit light and flippant and kind of says things that are like fairly inappropriate and maybe a little bit uh, ill-informed or ignorant. But I think that that's... Uh, her function and, and Christella's function is kind of to teach her kind of how how to interact and I think Maddie has like a, a depth uh, that's not immediately like visible on the surface but um, but as time goes on and the show develops more you kind of get to see that she is more than meets the eye. And, oh, in terms of being on a cast that's diverse, this is by far, in a way, the most diverse cast I've been a part of, which is really exciting. It's, um, yeah, it's cool. It's, 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 it's new and fresh. And um, it, what's also cool about it, though, is that it doesn't necessarily feel like uh, I'm, you know, like the minority. It just feels like you, you're dealing it's not it's not all about race relations it's about like these things that we deal with as human beings like beyond kind of and and those things get brought up and they're not like swept under the rug but there's also just like universal things that we as humans deal with so a lot of the time it doesn't necessarily feel like we're uh talking about race or the differences between us uh, but how we are together i don't know it sounds kind of silly but just like it's kind of cool. hi um, well, who, am I speaking to everybody here? Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Um, my name, I have a blanket on me. Um, my name is uh, Andrew Leeds. I play Josh. Um, uh, with Maddie and Christella, we are um, interns in his law office. And um, we're just freshly hired, still going through law school. And, um, and Christella and I, in the pilot, we sort of form an immediate bond for whatever reason. Just when two people just really connect, we just seem to connect and hit it off. And we seem to have a lot in common. And, um, and so we sort of go through this process together. Uh, I obviously fit into that law firm world a lot more than she does uh, because she comes from a, a poor upbringing and I come from a wealthier family but that being said I also am a bit of a fish out of water because I'm from like you know the northeast and we're in Texas and, um, and so we sort of explore that a little bit uh, and for me it's interesting because on this show I am I mean we are the diversity essentially you know what I mean uh, it's largely a Latino show and um, and to be honest, I don't ever really think about it or notice yeah. it at all, except for that I love watching the scenes that occur with their family because even though it's what I love about it is how specific it is, and it really feels like real people that even it feels like I'm getting a glimpse into what her life is like. Um, and I just think the characters are so funny and so rich. And yet, I, even though they're different than people in my family, I still recognize certain things about them from people in my family. So I just feel very, I love watching, I feel like very connected. It's like, it's a group of people that, that I want to be around and hang out with. And I look forward, you know, we, all our scenes are down there in the office set. And I look yeah, forward to, be in here. to one day. <laughs> it does Can we just have off, a sleepover one of these days? <laughs> it does. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. Eventually, I look forward to walking through these doors and getting to interact with with the other characters, which will be really fun. Yeah. So you're the minority on the screen. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Um, yeah. What is it like playing a character where people don't immediately hate you and everything? That you hate you? Yeah, well, phones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> Uh, so like you're well, not gonna be like. Oh, it's funny because I just hate them in life. Yeah. 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 Um, no, it's very. It's 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 a lot more fun. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more. Fun. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun being on a sitcom where people are laughing and I don't have to like lurk around corners and creep people out all the time. Uh, and I and I think it'll probably be more fun walking down the street uh, for people to. Uh, to recognize me for something nice instead of something evil, <laughs> but I, other, it, I have to say it, nobody's ever like everybody's. Some people genuinely hate me because I kept apart, you know, uh, Booth and Brennan for <laughs> Booth and Bones for a very long time. So I have some people that really are not fond of me. But so yeah, it's, just, it's nice to. <laughs> to what's that? Redeem. Yeah, it's nice to finally, finally, yeah. Because the world we live in requires kind of. Well, 
viewpoints of not only, if I can say this, not only diversity, but women. I mean, it's painfully obvious, isn't it? You know, I mean, it's, it's as obvious as what I'm looking at right now. And, I mean, thank God we don't live in a world of Hugh Beaumont anymore. I was saying, I was complaining to Andrew, I said, you know, I've been doing this for 40 years. And, but in the last 20, I go up for stuff that's like, the archetype is basically leave it to Beaver. I'm going, I'm 20 years older than you, the guy who's writing this thing. Why are you still acting like the dad in this grew up in 1942, you know? But so finally we sort of, you know, moving away from that, I think, you know, something that's a little more concurrent. So what makes these characters like the plane different and fresh? I, I like to think that what we're going to do is set the template and then break it. You know, I, I think that the, you'll have a perception of Trent. I am this big, hotshot Texas lawyer. I got pictures in my office of me with Jerry Jones, and, and now a real photograph of me and Mark Cuban, who, by the way, is not Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody was under that impression. I was we, under we, the impression. Yes, somebody turned out he's actually a Jewish kid from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, but so you have this idea of him, and he's a big shot, and all this kind of thing. Um, but I would like to take that idea and hopefully turn it on its head from time to time. But for instance, and, and we've talked about this with Stella, she, she thinks my wife, who I talk about, is probably Latina. And, but that hasn't, been, that hasn't been necessarily explored or revealed yet. So I would like to think that we take some sort of tr basically tried and true and somewhat trite stereotype and then maybe go against it and explore it and see what this person is rather than just, oh, write him off or write her off as one thing or another. With all the new shows this fall, what makes this one stand out? Because we're in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think, Christelle, I have to say, and, I, and I, I've said this before, but I, I think we have a home run in Christella because not only is she a comic, but she's an actress. And, uh, and no... You know, I'm not casting dispersions on anybody who went before, but there have been other situations, Robin Williams being the exception, if you will, because he was an actor as well as a stand-up, in which people had to learn on the job how to act. And my friend John Goodman, for instance, was in a show like that, okay? And she did learn how to act, and she became very good at it, but it took a while. She's the complete package. She's already got the chops, you know? So for us, that's, that's a real, you know, real blessing, I think. I mean, I, you try and kind of take the things that you might see as like a negative or a con in your character and be like, I mean, everyone is their own hero and everyone has, I think Maddie has like genuinely good intentions and just, it's just where she's located and how she's been raised and her upbringing in the context of her life that leads her to say things that are like not necessarily kosher. Um, so I don't like look at it with judgment necessarily, but it's also kind of cool to see this other force, which is Christella coming in and being like, what? No, that's not quite cool. You know, like that's not quite right. Um, so I think that it, I don't know, I haven't really come at it with like a place of like judgment or like, like shame on you, Maddie, for like saying these things. Do you realize that we all like are human and make mistakes and we, you know, everyone has their own baggage but yeah are you guys enjoying it though despite oh, yeah. all the like cringe worthy things that some, or things they do sometimes it's funny I don't, I don't think of anything as being particularly cringe worthy but maybe that's just me and the character being I can, from my, I'm not I don't say anything particularly offensive on the show and I no. get to watch them say a number of offensive things and I I think it what works so well about it is that both of their characters are they're good people, you yeah. can tell, and it, it, there's like just a feeling of love and warmth, I think. So even when he's saying things that are edgy, edgy, uh, I think um, they're ne it's never for me. It never really comes off as offensive. There's always a little bit of humor underneath it all. I think that in any example of good writing, that there is a rationale for saying something that's maybe judged as politically incorrect. And I think if you look at the pilot in particular, when I get a little edgy. Well, but there's a reason for it, and I, I think, and I like this character, and I feel that that, that we've hewn close to this idea that everything he says that is maybe outrageous or verging on the outrageous, has, there's a there's a reason for it. Now, in the case of when I'm interviewing her, it's because I I have to see whether she can take what's going to come her way in this particular world, uh, which is you know basically run by white men and so forth, and is is a difficult 
road for anybody to walk, particularly her, and so forth. And and I think that what actually has come out of this, and I mentioned this to Stella, you were at the, the TCA a while ago, I said, I realized that she's the son I never had. I have my daughter, who, is, <laughs> who I love very much, <laughs> and comes freighted with her own responsibilities and so forth. But I think Christelle is the son I never had in a way. And then she and I sort of spark one another. And I, I want to keep that going. Um, it doesn't mean to say that, you know, I'm going to promote her to the top of the class or anything like that because everybody has to earn their stripes. And I did, too. That's my backstory. story, because I was not handed anything either. And in fact, you asked me, I think, is there a prototype? I have a friend, I can say this, it, an actor friend named Chris Rich, and I never met his dad, but Chris is from Dallas. Chris did Reba, actually, on this set. And Chris is actually godfather to my daughter. Um, his father was a big time Texas lawyer, and he was also a big time civil rights lawyer, which is very interesting. So you got the sort of idea of, the tech, you know, the big tall guy and, and, you know, and the boots and so forth, and, and yet, no, he went a different way than what you might anticipate. So we'll see. I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep thwarting expectations. The other thing about the comments that we make that are kind of cringeworthy is that Chris has run into a lot of these things in life. You know, she's like, there's, she talks a lot about how in the pilot there's a moment where someone mis, uh, takes her for. Um, like the, 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 the garbage yeah. or the cleaning woman, and, and that really is happening. You hear and you're like, oh gosh, but it really happened. So it's like you got to, you know, it's a, it's part of the show, you know. It's, it's, it's part of your life, yeah. Yeah, it's life, so it's important that we like address those things. You know? well, and I'm speechless. I, I just want to say one other thing. You, you said this, but the other reason to watch Christella is really because of Christella. Like, yes, this girl, like, came out of nowhere. You know, we sat, sat down to do the pilot. We, I don't, we didn't really know her, and we sat down to do this thing with her, and it's like, holy crap! Like, she's fantastic. She's a great actor. She's so funny. She's so fast. Like, anytime we're on set, if there's a, a line that gets needs to get rewritten, it's like, like that. Um, and there's just something really special and like effervescent about her. Like, just you can't take your eyes off her. So I think that's why you watch because there's nobody else like her on television. You know. And she